Good Tuesday morning. In today's passage, David asks the question, Is there still anyone left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Mephibosheth is born into a wealthy and prominent family with a future that's secure. The grandson of King Saul and the son of Jonathan is in line to be the king of Israel. But the royal dynasty crumbles before it even gets started. At age five and in a span of one day, both his father and grandfather die in battle and he's permanently crippled. Stripped of his destiny and his life now in danger, the would-be king flees his home and lives a marginalized life in the shadows. What Mephibosheth doesn't know is that a royal future is still intact and waiting for him. King David seeks him out, invites him to live in the palace, and thus fulfills his promise to honor Jonathan's family. God seeks us out, offers us forgiveness of sins and a place in heaven. David's invitation to Mephibosheth is a beautiful picture of the invitation God gives you and I. God seeks us out and he offers us forgiveness of sin and a place in heaven. Our own broken lives make us feel unworthy or even afraid to approach God. And just like David fulfilled his promise to honor Jonathan's family, God fulfills his promise to honor those who put their trust in Jesus. Romans 10, 9 and 10 reminds us that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is in charge of our lives and we believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved because it is with our heart that we believe and are justified and it is with our mouth we confess and are saved. A greater reception than the one David gave Mephibosheth waits for those who receive God's gift through trusting in Jesus, not because we deserve it, but because of God's promise. Dear Lord, I remember the day when I stepped out of the shadows into a relationship with you like it was yesterday. Your promises to me are always yes and amen. Each day that I read your word helps me to remember each of your promises to me. Thank you for your manifest grace in my life. In Jesus' name, with thanksgiving, I pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.